question for you and it really requires you to be honest. So take a deep breath because I'm about to get all in your business. Okay, so the question is, have you ever felt so far from God that even though you knew you were spiritually disconnected, the road back home to your heavenly father seemed like an impossible journey? I mean, first of all, where do you even start? It feels like you've gone so far off the track that you're now headed to a completely different destination and the way back to the right track just isn't very clear right now. Well, if you can relate, then this video is for you. Welcome or welcome back to the Dual Purpose YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Latoya and Dual Purpose is a community of women who are discovering purpose, sharing faith and inspiration for the journey. So if that sounds like your thing, hit the subscribe button below and come and join our growing family. So first of all, let me spill my own tea. There was a season in my life where I found myself in a very similar situation. I had made some decisions which at the time seemed okay, but eventually led to me disobeying the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I remember getting to a place where I knew I had to get back onto the right path in order for me to have peace and in order for me to progress and become all that God wants me to be. You know the scripture in Proverbs 3 and verse 6 that says, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path? Listen, <laughs> that scripture has taken on a completely different meaning for me. And I'm hoping that this video will help you to get back on track if you've kind of veered off a little bit. So often we pray and ask God to lead us and guide us and we want him to lead us just like he did for the children of Israel. And the thing is, we're genuine about that request. But what I've noticed is according to Proverbs 3 and verse 6, the prerequisite for God ordering our steps and directing our path is that we acknowledge him in all of our ways. And the truth is not many of us can say we actually do that. I looked up the word acknowledge and according to Merriam-Webster, to acknowledge means to recognize the rights, authority or status of. So according to this verse in Proverbs 3 and verse 6, we need to recognize the rights, authority and status of God as our creator, the one who has good plans for us and knows our end from our beginning. I then read an article on LinkedIn and it was talking about five ways that we can acknowledge someone. And the one that stood out for me was to let the person speak and show that we are listening. So let's break this down so we can get some practical tips to help us get back on track. The first thing is, do we really let God speak? Or do we go to God asking him to lead us, guide us, direct our paths, but we've already made up our minds about the decision that we want to make. So when he tells us something different, we don't want to hear it and we go off and do our own thing anyway. How many of us can relate to that? The second thing is there is no point of asking God to lead us, guide us, direct our paths if we are just going to go off and do our own thing anyway. The statement I just read from LinkedIn said that we need to show that we are listening. Disobedience is the complete opposite of that. So if we want God to lead us, to direct our paths, we have to be willing to surrender our will and our desires. And don't get me wrong, it's not easy, but it is a journey that God can help us to make. So in my case, I prayed and asked God a very specific question and he did answer me. And truthfully, I obeyed him for a while. And then I found myself making decisions that was outside of the answer that he gave to me. And it wasn't until I got to a place of truly repenting. And I don't mean just saying, Lord, I'm sorry for making the wrong decision. I mean, turning away from the wrong decision that I had made and going back to the original plan that God told me to follow. That really helped me to regain my peace. That really helped me to just refocus, to recommit to spending quality time with God because there is a difference between spending time with God and spending quality time with God. And just like you and I enjoy spending quality time with the people that we love, God enjoys spending quality time with us too. So since you said you can relate to feeling like you're on the wrong track and you're far from God, you will know that it's a journey to get back on the right track. Just like it was a journey to veer off and go in our own way, it's a journey to get back on. So even though I knew I had repented and I knew that God had forgiven me, 
I didn't feel like I was back home with my Heavenly Father yet. And there are a number of things that I did to really restore that relationship with God, which I will share with you over the next couple of weeks, because I really want to help you to restore your relationship with God. There's absolutely nothing better than having a close knit relationship with the one who created you and knows everything. The Bible says he knows our end from our beginning. So why would you not want to have a beautiful relationship with the one who already knows everything about your today's and your tomorrows. The Holy Spirit reminded me of the prodigal son, in particular Luke chapter 15 and verse 20, because the Bible says that while the son was on his way home, but he was still a long way off, his father saw him, his father ran to him, embraced him and kissed him. And every time I rehearse that scripture, it really brings a smile to my face because it's like I can see it. I can see the father running towards his son with so much joy. And I believe that's how our Heavenly Father is with us. So you may feel like you're still a long way off, you know, maybe you've only prayed to God once this week, maybe once this month, but the Bible is telling us that even when we're a long way off, as long as we're making progress, our Father sees that progress and he's willing to run to us, to meet us and to help us to complete the journey. And I don't know about you, but I just, I think that's such a beautiful picture because it helps us to recognize that we may feel like we're a long way off, but God can still see us and he is willing and ready to come and meet us, to embrace us and allow us to feel his presence once again. So in my case, coming back home was about making God number one in my life again, allowing him to direct my path and to lead me and guide me. But as I said earlier, according to Proverbs 3 and verse 6, the prerequisite of that is acknowledging him in all of our ways. And I believe that's also a journey. I believe the more that we practice acknowledging God in all of our ways, it becomes second nature to go to him with everything, the big things and the seemingly small things as well. When the Lord spoke to me about the prodigal son, there were times I would pray and close my eyes and I could see it just as if I was watching a movie and I knew that was God's way of saying to me just keep coming Latoya I can see you and as long as you keep progressing towards me I'm coming to meet you I'm coming to help you to complete this journey and that's what I want to encourage you with you may feel like you're still a long way off and maybe you are but it's okay as long as you keep progressing, as long as you keep making steps back to your Heavenly Father, He's making steps towards you and it will get easier. Trust me, the closer you get back to God, the easier this journey feels and the more you begin to tell yourself, I am on the right track, I am going to make it and dismiss all the other negative thoughts because they're not true. You see, the moment we make up our minds to change, take action and begin taking steps to returning back to God, our Heavenly Father, he runs to meet us. Do you know how amazing that is? That God our Father is ready, waiting to run towards us and embrace us with his love. I believe God wants to show us that his love for us never ever changes. Even when we're in disobedience, he doesn't love us any less. So if you have repented, God has forgiven you. Don't allow the lies in your mind to tell you otherwise. Repent, Speak to God on a daily basis. Tell him how you feel. Tell him exactly where you are and read the Bible daily. It's God's way of speaking life into us. And trust me, God wants to speak to you every single day. But will you give him the opportunity? It's not too late for you, sis. Remember, this is a journey. It's not a competition. It's not a race. Please don't compare yourself to anybody else. Run your race and allow God to lead and direct your path. Just keep coming back home. I am rooting for you to come back home. And now I'm going to pray for you. Father God, I thank you for the person watching this video. Lord, you see and you know exactly where they are. I pray, God, that you would meet them. I pray that they will feel your presence once again. I pray that they will experience such a newness in you, that their relationship with you this time, Father God, will be on a completely different level. I pray that you help all of us to surrender our ways and acknowledge you in all of our ways, God, so that you can direct our paths. I thank you because I know that you hear the words that we speak. And I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that you've been blessed by this video and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Take care. God bless.